sellers in Florida are getting frustrated. The real estate market is totally different, especially right now. And if you are a buyer or seller or investor, you must watch this video because I'm going to break down why uh, real estate market, especially uh, the sellers, are getting frustrated and what are the mistakes they are doing and which can be advantage to the buyers and if you are a seller then you should not do those mistakes that's why I see this video till the end I'm going to break down the facts um, about South Florida real estate market in general Florida real estate market also we'll talk about but specifically focusing right now South Florida because again real estate market is location wise is different so let's start this video right now property is in a updated location or, or I mean good location and the updated property then it doesn't stay there that long right now I'm going to we are doing one inspection of one of our listing that, that property like it's, this community is almost new construction it started building around 2019 and it's a great you know updated property and that stayed only in a market maybe less than even three days so this one is kind of correct example where if it's updated property it's not going to stay in a market and seller also getting the good price you know what they were expecting and that saves also a lot of maintenance costs because more days in a market it's technically it's hurting sellers and that's where this frustration is coming and the price reductions are coming and as a buyer if you what it means to you so for example at the point of buying in 2024 real estate market then make sure if you are expecting to negotiate then you are looking at the properties where you have a little bit of vision where you can upgrade the property but if you do not want to put extra money you want to put that money into your loan on a financing directly then get something already upgraded where you don't even have to spend even a single dollar technically the buyers are putting into the financing directly so it's like a strategy you know where i know the interest rates are higher the prices are like higher than what was the previous market but as i said this is not a market where people are beating over each other so it's not like you are paying overpriced but if it's a correct property you definitely are getting in a good price even though it's upgraded and as a seller's what this means to you that you really need to have a proper plan what you are selling for and how is the condition of the property all those things matters a lot especially in south florida including the roof ear because right now insurance are giving a lot of troubles and that's my next point coming to if you have an older roof then either you need to think about okay this property if i already have an older roof you need to have a pricing accordingly where you are giving credit to the buyer because it's very important right now insurances are giving very very hard troubles even insuring the property because only citizen is insuring if the roof is more than 20 years old so buyer will have a struggle and they will no matter what going to negotiate this price so South Florida market is kind of at a weird situation where you see the price reductions are happening but happening in a in a specific property it's not all of the property again this brings me to the example which i'm going to show you this one is 2019 build so this is pretty much roof even impact windows all those going to give the best discount to the buyer so that's why it's not much negotiation room again as a buyer they don't have to invest their cash money and it's going directly into, into the financing so now let me take you to the property which we are inspecting and this is just one example of the what is updated property what i mean and also i'm going to show you this particular neighborhood this is a new construction neighborhood i have a specific video for this particular neighborhood if you're looking for new construction in south florida in palm beach county then this kind of neighborhood you will get to see there are not too many brand new construction neighborhoods in palm beach county but this is one of example this is like there are a couple of subdivisions here there's a specific separate video on this so make sure you watch that too so this particular house has the bigger lot one of the bigger lot in the neighborhood and also has a lakefront property 
and plus it's upgraded so this is one of the examples where you know it, it was a little bit favorable uh, for the buyers and uh, you know it wasn't too long in the market and also it really kind of matters the sizing also that's my next point how the marketing is done for the property and that's how the negotiations are happening the you know how you analyze the properties and also it's affecting the sellers who are just testing the markets there are some they are literally testing the market they do not want to sell but they are just testing like okay if i get the xyz value then only i'm going to sell this property so that kind of sellers also have been seen in a market and they will literally suffer the prices are adjusting as i said this is not looks like a bubble there's another specific video of how actually the market is reacting and it is frustrating honestly it's not a very a trustful market where you get a form answers there will be the diplomatic replies if you ask different people uh, experts in this market because there is not literally form answer but i can say this much as an expert and being a content creator the market is adjusting market is providing the value to buyers if the property is correct if the property has the upgrades then definitely you need to pay towards the upgrades in the price itself and which is the strategy where you can put it into the loan but if you are someone who has a vision of upgrading the house and who wants to increase equity then this is a great market for that too where you buy specific property which where the sellers are frustrated for xyz reasons so those kind of frustrating uh, you know frustrated sellers properties those you can negotiate are pretty good in this one and if you are a seller what it means to you do not become one of those go in that category plan properly have a strategy when you are selling this is not a market you just put a board outside and your house will be sold with the 10 offers comment me below what you are feeling how the market is reacting how sellers and buyers are accommodating with this market can you please comment me below i'm sure you are watching this video because you have you are either seller buyer or investor or some kind of interest you have in real estate so i would love to listen from you guys let's do some active conversations and you know i can even make videos depends on your what your comments are and that will give you more perspective of what you want to see on this channel if property is not in great condition then the sellers are facing a nightmare for selling the house because you know the expectation of the price is still there in the seller's mind in a lot of differences are you also coming in appraisal especially because of the condition of the property but that is another point which i will discuss later in the video how what are the difference in appraisals are coming what are approximate numbers are running like depends on the location of the uh, property especially in south florida area but considering the condition of the property what i mean is if it needs repairs it needs new roof or some kind of even cosmetic updates where the kitchen is old or the carpets are there so those kind of properties where needs more remodeling that is getting harder to be sold in this current market and that's one way is advantage to the buyers where they are negotiating pretty good amount but it is not happening right away that's why sellers are getting frustrated the the more days stays in a market eventually by emotions and more stay it, it stays more uh, more days in a market and they cannot plan their own plan b you know where they will be heading to that's what making them frustrated so buyers technically are taking advantage if uh, are getting advantage if the properties are staying longer in the market and that's very good room for negotiation recently recently a couple of properties we negotiated which was not to expect it but still pretty good negotiations are happening one more reason uh, sellers are frustrated is because of the bad marketing tactics and this can be advantage to the buyers and investor in this particular market because overall market is suffering and if the correct strategies are not used to sell a house and they waste time in a market that increasing days in a market is not going to help the sellers no matter what and that can be advantage to the buyers or investors always real estate market not perfect for everybody there is some 
advantages for one party and some disadvantage for other party. And that's how it gets balanced, right? So a lot of people ask me, is this a buyer market or seller's market? But that something can be decided based on in inventory and demand. This particular market is totally weird where the inventory is low and the demand is also low. Because not a lot of buyers are understanding how the market is reacting, how the back ends, and that's why I make this kind of videos where it is more knowledgeable and you can make a wise decision. Like this market's not for everybody. Like not everyone will buy house in this market. It's not like you're gonna get three percent interest rate lockdown. It is a challenging market no matter what. And it is affordability wise, especially in South Florida. It's crazy. If you talk about the general in Florida, there are some cities where if you are moving from other states like Florida, sorry, New York or California, you will not be too much affected with the price wise. And we do serve a whole state of Florida. So I can tell you pretty much every area what is actually happening. Right now I'm in South Florida and I'm focusing this video particularly for South Florida because if uh, you know the community which I'm showing you it is uh, comparatively in like comparatively only comparable to South Florida because South Florida has a lot different feel than North Florida and there's again disadvantage advantage of living in both areas there are specific videos on that too but okay before I waste more time into these differences I want to stick to the real estate market update kind of topic here Thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any comments about the market please do comment me below i would love to hear from you guys and let me know if you want me to make any specific other video any other specific neighborhoods you want me to show let me know in comment section i would love to make that for you see you in my next video